Stay positive, you know what I'm saying? Y'all stay focused. Y'all stay motivated, you know what I'm saying? And, and that's just the way it's going to work, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Dollar Pierre with Louisiana promo. And shout out to everybody who's been watching Real Talk TV and tuning into Real Talk TV. We're going to bring your boy Moose Harris up, man. What's up, man? Chillin', chillin', chillin'. Yeah, man, what's up? Well... Nice to have you on the show. Mr. Thank you. Moose. I appreciate Moose. it, man. I appreciate it. So, to all the people who don't know you, you know, are not familiar who you are, uh -huh. you can go ahead and introduce yourself. Tell right, right. You are. I go by the name of Moose Harris, you know, Anthony B. Daniels on most other places, you know what I'm saying? I'm originally from New Iberia, I live here in Lafayette right now, and and I'm a professional musical polymer. Now, why do I say that? It's because... I try to do my part in the industry, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a balance of, of my personal love with music, and just dealing with the, the community and trying to make things better for music scenes and business and things of that nature. Right. Right. Yeah, man, what's up, man? You're an entrepreneur and you, you do a lot, you know what I'm saying, yeah. with music, right? Yeah. So, when did you decide you wanted to become an artist? Man, the whole music thing, we, we're going back 20 years at least. Uh, back in, in high school, music had always been a part of my life, a reference towards uh, performing in church and and then playing with cassette recorders growing up as a kid or what may have you. But but by 96, I was like, this is something I want to do seriously. It's something that, that I, I'd much rather do than just about anything else. So I'm going to go right. for it. Right. You go for your goals. Right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's right. what it is. You know? So, you know, I mean, uh, so in 1996, right? right? I mean, that'd be by, you know, the time frame of that. Mm -hmm. What made you want to become an artist around that particular time? Well, I mean, it was just high school, man. It's just, it's just being 16, and, and you know, I remember, it, I remember, like the moment, like it was yesterday, on my way to computer science class over at New Iberia Senior High. It was up in college. Yeah, you know, you know, you know what I'm saying, right, 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 right. And 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 just walking there that day and being like, this is it. You know, I wanna, I wanna take it further than than just playing around with it or, or being a kid with it, so wow. yeah, that's where it started. Yeah, you know, I mean, you know, for me too, and a lot of a lot of other artists and entrepreneurs, man, they started out at a younger age. Right. You know what I'm saying? We just didn't have a, 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 a streaming platform yeah. to yeah. actually be seen as exactly. kids. Exactly, exactly. You know, growing up and, um, you know, so, you know, that's a plus, man, you know. So as an artist, what motivates you or inspires you to that? Man, um, because I'm involved in so much different types of music or what may have you, man, just whatever, whatever circumstance, I mean, a situation like this could inspire me towards working on some musical things or what may have you, whether it be rapping or singing or, or production or playing instruments or whatever it is, right. you know, it could be, it could be other artists, it, I mean, heck, the video that y'all just showed earlier, right. <laughs> it was inspiring enough, right. you know what I'm saying, so right. it's not right. really a specific thing, man, it's just, it's just capturing that vibe at the moment yeah. and you're being right. like, okay, I'm going to get into it right here some way, somehow. Yeah, man, that's, that's what's up. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. Yeah. What different steps did you have to take to get where you are in your career right now? Man, um, like I said, I'm, I, I guess I'm considered an OG, kind of old school now. You know what I'm saying? Because cause part of part of my my adult life is in the 20th century. You know what I'm saying? I ain't old. I'm just I just age like fine wine. You know that's all I mean. Um, but but I went to school. You know, University of New Orleans back in the day. Also spent time with the uh, military back in the day as well. You know, and just just a lot of a, a nice little bit of educational stuff, academics, what may have you, you and know. But it was a lot of hands-on stuff being in New Orleans pre-Katrina. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. Just just the way New Orleans was, say between like '98 and '05. Right. You know, where where it was just. It was it was coming off that no limit era in yeah, the yeah, hip hop, but exactly. jumping into the cash money era in reference mm -hmm. to hip hop, you know, and, and underground stuff and bounce was becoming more than just something we heard every now and then between Lafayette and Wolf, you know. So it was just a lot of hands on stuff. After Katrina, mm -hmm. it's it was a matter of just taking that hands on stuff and applying it here in Lafayette, out in Shreveport, Ruston, wherever else, and just a lot of communication with people in between. They can just right. make it things bigger and expand it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And marketing is the key. Right. You know what I mean? You get in different locations, different areas, different avenues. 
you know, and you find out what you want to like, that's what typically is there, you know? That's all it is, man, because one step, one step led to another, you know. One minute, I'm in a radio station in Shreveport giving them a CD as an artist, and the next minute they asking me about doing my own radio show because they heard I was working radio in Ruston, right. <laughs> you know, so, and exactly. it just, it just expanded like that, and here we are with Urban Flow Sara seven years later, you know what I mean? So, it's just, it's just a matter of, of just taking each one of those steps, a lot of hands-on stuff, communicate with people, collaborate with people, you know, and, and just, just step into something else comes up, keep yeah, going. Man. The best thing to do, man, you take your step, man. Yeah. Step by step, you know, and, yeah. and, and, and you don't go to the next step until you make sure you got that step. Right, you, you right, know, right. You gotta cheat and shortcut, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but you gotta play the game like, oh. Yeah, man, yeah. yeah. It's, just, it's just a lot of rules to that game. Wow, you know, you just gotta know as many of those rules as possible. Because if you don't, right. ooh, we. Yeah, you're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> you're in trouble. Yeah, man. So, how long? Were you in the military? Uh, six years, from 97 to 03, mostly through the Louisiana National Guard, doing some petroleum supply stuff. Spent time with Fort Polk, Fort Hood, Fort Irwin, California, Fort Jackson, Fort Lee, you know, just, just, just I guess, doing my little part at the time, you know? Right, right, right. Yeah, man, I mean, hey, you gotta do what you gotta hey. do, man. I mean, that's the better opportunity at the time. Right. You take it. That's exactly, you that's don't, exactly what it was. You do not take it, you know right. what I'm saying? Like, then you're gonna find yourself, you know, in a bad <laughs> spot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, who are some of the people you look forward to working in the near future? Man, I don't have a, I don't have a specific list because most of my original influence aren't even, aren't even with us anymore. You know what I'm saying? Because, like I said, I'm old school from the music, so it's it's whoever, whoever got that that right vibe, got that right feeling. You know? Whoever wants, got a good head on their shoulders, male, female, black, white, whatever. Hip hop, jazz, rap, rock, reggae, it don't matter. You know, it's just a matter of if they got a good head on their shoulders, they, they want to learn some stuff, they want to be able to teach some stuff at the same time, and they got a good vibe with it, man. I'm, I'm more than willing to to pick somebody out, see where they head at, it, right. and go with it from there. So right. I don't have nobody specific, just. If, if you feel if you feel you that that specific person, then I want to work with you. <laughs> you know, it's basically it's basically it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, let's talk about a little bit about the radio. Okay. 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 You know what I'm saying? Um, exactly what it is. You you know you do. Is it a talk show or a well, it, it it breaks down it, it, it breaks down like this. It's actually two shows. Okay. You know, there's there's the older of the two is Urban Flow Saurus. That's uh, U R B A N, and in other words, F L O S A R U S. Flow Saurus coined by me. I originated that. That's Moose Harris. You know what I'm saying? It's my it's my hip hop show where I'm playing um, independent, underground, exclusive hip hop, R and B, reggae, zydeco, jazz stuff. You know, just a lot of a lot of modern based independent underground music. You know what I'm saying? And, and a majority of stuff that you're not gonna hear on like oh, commercial yeah. radio, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, yeah, I don't want to say no names or stations right, or nothing. Right, but, right, right, but commercial you know, radio. Y'all know the stations I'm talking about, those types of stations. You're not going to hear the type of stuff I play on Urban Full Sarge. My right. other radio show is called The Grapevine, where it's more of my grown folk stuff. Right, you know, right. Good. I ain't going to lie, most of the stuff that I would play on The Grapevine, you may hear on commercial radio, but you're going to hear it like specialty time that's that Sunday afternoon yeah, you know grown yeah, folks family picnic and the park sound jazz and R&B and blues and soul and, and things like that you know what I'm saying Urban Flow Stars is about seven years old it just made seven in August August 18th and the Grapevine is five years old it's been on air since January 2012 currently right now man it's just a matter of, of syndication you know right. and I'm, I'm on the air here in Acadia Adam on the air in Baton Rouge but then I'm also on the air in places like South Korea and Russia and oh, London okay. England and Dublin Ireland and San Francisco and whatever you know so and I'm just your particular show being aired on their particular stage. yeah exactly exactly so so whenever I say and talk with people and say this ain't bragging it's just stating yeah, a fact you know what I'm saying yeah whenever I tell people I'm on the air in 12 different countries one way or I'm on the air in 12 different countries. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? So, and hopefully, hopefully by the, by the 15th time y'all see this particular episode, I'll be on the air in like 30 countries. So, yeah. you know, we'll be able to laugh back at this and say, remember right, that right, time. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, hey, man. I mean, if there's any artist that's interested in, you know, 
getting their material aired on your station? First thing, radio edit to music. I can't I can't emphasize that enough. Now, I don't have a problem necessarily in doing editing myself. But just like y'all know here with this particular show, it takes time. You know right. what I'm saying? If you go if you interview somebody, first of all, you're on live. You know right. the kind of situation that causes. Right. You know, both live and even behind the scenes. Right. So artists, radio edited music, please, as edited as humanly possible. If you think it's edited, it's probably not edited enough. Okay? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The email address to send this radio edited music. And oh, this also goes for DJs and producers who want to send in their beats as well. Because I use beats for like voiceover tracks or whatever, whenever I'm saying all that I'm about to say anyway. So I'm used to having a track going on in my ears. I'm doing this right now. You know what I'm saying? Urban.flosaurus at gmail.com. U R B A N. Dot F-L-O-S-A-R-U-S at gmail.com that's where it goes send me as much information about you send me the mp3s directly you know what I'm saying yeah I can deal with links you know what I'm saying but I'd much rather have it right there because if I'm feeling it right I'm going to throw it in an episode right then and there. Either the one that's going to go to the podcast or when it goes to the stations, or I might be spending it later on that night when I'm on there live. You feel what I'm saying? So send me the music, you know, and that's the email address to send it right there, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So if y'all want your music aired, you know what I'm saying, on the show, you just gave y'all that information. If y'all want your music videos aired on Real Talk TV, you know, y'all holla at us. We're going to play it. You know, we're going to bump it or dump it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Hey. If they like it, we're going to bump it. You know what I'm saying? If, if they don't like it, you know what I'm saying? We got to dump it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Now, the callers is going to be the ones to judge. Right. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, I have no horse in that race. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. Me neither, man. You know I'm, 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 so, just, I'm just watching just like you. <laughs> and, you know, so, if y'all want to send your music videos, y'all send it. You know what I'm saying? And as we continue to go, we continue to grow. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all continue to follow the show. At uh, P. James Murray on Facebook. If y'all don't follow me, all y'all can follow Dolly Pierre. D O L L I E P I E R R E. Right, right, right. She, promo. Shout out to her. She's the reason why I'm even here in the first place. So definitely shout out to her one more again. Yeah. Shout out to the Q. You know what I'm saying? Right. The Q got his own TV show. That's right, right. the scenes. You know what I'm saying? He, he showed a lot of love, you know. And mm-hmm. y'all gotta, if y'all want y'all, y'all exclusive uncut music videos air. Mm. Y'all bring them to the queue, and the queue gonna get y'all right. Hmm. Live television broadcast. Hey, there you go. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all go follow the queue under Kenneth Franklin on Facebook. Kenneth Franklin on Facebook. You know what I'm saying? Okay. He's gonna definitely get y'all right with that television and, thing. And at Moose underscore Harris. For the social media, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I, got, I got I got the logo over here. I don't know if you'll be able to zoom in on that or anything like that, but you know. Yeah. You, you recognize it, you recognize me in the mic. At Moose underscore Harris. That underscores the one on the ground, not the one in the app. You know what I'm saying? So different. So, so to all the artists out there, man, mm-hmm. who's actually trying to progress, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying, and do what they what they want to do. What inside information do you have for them to do? Man, it, it, it's a matter of being prepared. One of the main things I always tell people is this. Recording the music, being in the studio, being in the yoke, however you want to say it, that's the easiest part of the game. Yeah. Going, re- going by somebody's studio or having your own studio set up, recorded, I mean, hell. Yeah. I've been doing an entire internationally syndicated radio show using, using nothing more than a microphone or a laptop for the last seven years. It's easy to record. Right. Okay? Right. It's everything that you do after that right. is, is what, you know, what it is, you know what I'm saying? One of the main things I'd say is go forth and and support other artists whenever they hit the stage. That's probably the one main thing I can say that can lead towards everything else. Because, like for instance, we got we have at least two, maybe even a few more, but I know two main ones because I'm the one of them. We got two main events that go on here in Acadiana. You know, one is on a weekly basis and one is on a monthly basis. I'm saying between both those events, that's local jam that goes on every Thursday. Shout out to Arm Rhymery, Mo Black, at what X was going on with y'all. You know what I'm saying? They do their thing every Thursday, and we got the track beat, which is my event that I do every third Thursday of the month, once a month. You know what I'm saying? Between those two events in a given month, you're talking about 15, 20 different artists that's going to hit the stage and do 
five minutes, ten minutes, whatever. You know what I'm saying? If you're not one of those 15 to 20 artists that's going to perform in one of those two events here in Lafayette during that month, then you ought to be one of them 30 to 100 people that's out there watching those 15 to 20 people perform. Right. Because eventually it's going to be you that's on the stage and you're going to want those 15 to 20 artists that was on the stage before to come watch you. Watch you. you feel what I'm saying? Regardless of it's, if it's whatever. Right. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of which event or even if it's out of town. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's the key to insight because that allows you to peep other people out see what they're doing be like you know what i like what he's doing man That's let's right. get in the yo and record some stuff or do whatever or 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 you know be able to throw some flies or business cards or whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, that right. That's probably the main insight. Yeah, you can talk about paperwork all day. You can talk about having radio edited music to get on radio because there's hundreds of people like me, thousands of people like me radio-wise out there that'll take it like that. But go and show that love at the live event. You know what I'm saying? Paying that little X amount or whatever, whatever, whatever at the door for that one, maybe two times in a mm -hmm. couple of months is really what makes it happen. Because like I said, yeah. you going to want those people to come see you when you're on stage, so you need to go show love to them. Right. Right. Yeah, man. So y'all supporting it. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's all it is. It's, support, man. it's like, a, it's, it's an acronym I had at one time is, is, is all I call it, Simple Circuit. That's S-I-I-M-P-L-E. Support intelligent, independent music. Mm. That's all it's about. That's right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, so y'all heard it, man. Y'all need to go in on the support. And I feel the same way. Too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because ain't nothing next person that will get you nowhere more than being a hater than what you already is. Right, you know? right. I mean, it's fun that you, you go in on the support because if you got the same goal as everybody else, you know, and you see somebody doing something, and just because you're not doing something that should motivate you to do something yeah. because these people were local just as well as you were local and they're making moves because they're doing something. So mm -hmm. they should tell you one thing, wake up. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't hate, you know? Wake up. You know what I'm saying? If if that's not working for you, find something else yeah. that will work for yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. It's it's like it's like I'm into sports heavily, so a lot of I use a lot of sports references whenever I talk. So it's like so the Golden State Warriors, for example. Not everybody could be Steph Curry. Everybody trying to be Steph Curry. Not everybody can. Somebody got to be Draymond. Yeah. Somebody got to be Klay Thompson. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hell, somebody got to be the coach. Right. You know what I'm saying? They represent yeah. the game. Even if y'all like the same age, y'all went to school together or whatever. You know right. what I'm saying? Not everybody. That's the reason why that team been dead all in a dead because each one of them is gangster, you know what I'm saying, as an individual player, right. but they each play their role, you know right. what I'm saying, that's right. why Kevin Durant went over there, because he do all he had to do was take a pay cut and <laughs> play his role, play. he gonna get a ring, that's you right. know what I'm saying, <laughs> so that's 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 the one thing in reference towards communicating and collaborating with people, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, it's a matter of not everybody gonna be that front man rapper, right. you know what I'm saying, that's, that's why I'm in radio, that's why I'm a promoter, that's why... You know, I'm a middleman in reference towards turning people on to stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be turning people on now to Real Talk TV simply because I did it. I know what it's like. Be like, right. this is something you ought to be looking into. Right. You know what I'm saying? You can't always be the man. Yeah, I can, I can spit some rhymes. Yeah, I can sing. Yeah, I can play some instruments. But I don't necessarily need to be doing that all the time. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Right. I need to be doing a little bit of other stuff. So now, I mean, what's better for me? To be able to, to go up on stage and, and do a 20, 30 minute set or even do this interview as an individual or have my radio show that's going out to a dozen different countries where I'm playing 20, 30 different artists per two hours I'm on the air. Right. Exactly. So which one is <laughs> that? You did. You know it it, 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 it's, quantity, it's quantity to go with the quality. That's, that's right. all it is. That's you know right. what I'm saying? Absolutely. Every time I hit the air, man, I get to play 20 different artists, at least 20 different artists is cut. You know what I'm saying? For four to five, whatever amount of time the song is, at a time. The stage is yours to whoever watches Facebook Live, or we're listening on FM, the stream, whatever. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's a whole lot better down the line for the community mm -hmm. to just say, you know, not to say that I don't want to go on tour, that I don't want to do shows anymore, right. nothing like that, but man. You know? I mean, it's also helping out the artists too. Right. You know, yeah. It's, the, it's that team play, bro. I, I mean, hope y'all watching right now. Man, if if, if you ain't, we gonna make sure. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure there's a lot of opportunities for you to see this if you're not watching it right oh, now. Oh yeah, man. So you know, I mean, um, it, it's a growth, man. You know, yeah. Within the city, I think that we we've been growing a lot more than we have. Mm -hmm. You know, since like you said, '98, 2005. I mean, Lafayette is is 
a small city and now it's actually starting to build a name for itself. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's starting to have a mainstream looking at towards Latvia. Yeah. Area, which is not just uh, music. I mean, we have a lot of ad leagues that are talented. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We have, you know, shout out to Daniel. Shout out to Daniel Cormier, by the way. You know what I'm saying? Talented athlete. Right. We got actors. We got, we got comedians. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, we have yet to discover the most funniest comedian in Lafayette, you know what I'm saying? Right, I mean, right. I mean, you know what I mean? So, you know, I know we got a lot of talent, it's just undiscovered, you know what I'm saying? But it, it's, a matter, it's a matter of of people around here using a little bit of all the tools we have. Like, we finally at a point where I believe that on some level, we have just about all the tools it takes to put quote unquote Lafayette and Acadiana on the map. You know what I'm saying? We got people like you who have shows like this. There's people like me. You know, there's actually there's at least two to three stations, right. including myself and what I do with my shows, that will play music out in Acadiana, one way or the other. You know what I'm saying? I can't I can't verify, I guarantee all of them because I'm not on all of them, but I know, you know, I have something to do with at least two of those three. You know what I'm saying? You have your TV event. We have the we have the weekly and the monthly events I was just talking about earlier. We got people we got people who venturing off into into fashion design and t-shirt design. You know what I'm saying? Like shout out to Swollen and shout out to Mr. Main. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna I'm gonna throw both of them out there because you know we all a part of the community. You know what I'm saying? I can't I can't do one without the other right this second. You know what I mean? We we have we have AOC as a whole. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? To do more than just. This and, and and rent out camera equipment and we got buku people who shoot videos you know say music Edit, videos or what you know may what have you editing we have all the tools we, here me. already you know what I'm saying and we live in an area that roughly has six hundred and twenty thousand people <laughs> you mean to tell me we can't come together and get twelve hundred people in a venue for a night of just celebrating what Acadiana has music wise come on wise. bro come on come on man. bro don't get me started yeah, <laughs> for real don't get me started. You know we yeah. got everything here, bro. Right. I didn't witness it happen in bigger cities. Yeah, right. Shout out yeah. to Mike Page One. You, you know did. If y'all don't know him, WKYJ right. Radio, over three hundred thousand listeners. Right. Do all his every, you right. Know you know what I'm so, saying? You know, and uh, he's and a good friend of mine. Man. That's not even including. That's not even including like that. We can go all into. That's right. You know, so, do, that's just the state, man. Just Come on. State. So we, you know, this state can actually do more than. Yeah. It imagines. Man, I've lived, I've lived in New Orleans. I've lived in Shreveport. I've lived here in Lafayette. I'm from New Iberia. There's a whole lot more that they could be doing, man. Right. If, if they just set the one team with it, man. And, and that's not to say, that's not to say that we don't need different record labels. That's not to say that we don't need different crews. You know what I'm saying? That's just that, you know, I'm not going to say everybody got to love each other, but just respect each other enough for us to get this money. Right. right. And you know what? Louisiana as a state, you know what I'm saying? We have major artists that come from Louisiana. You know right. What I'm saying? So we can't expect, you know what I'm saying, Louisiana to actually play ball with us and actually grow as a team because some of the people in Louisiana already made it. So they're not trying to, they, they're just trying to grab one or two. They're not trying to, mm-hmm. you know, build that brand amongst Louisiana and have Louisiana fine and so, you know, whatever, whatever. So, you know, with that being said, we have to stick together as local, you know, entrepreneurs mm-hmm. and build that platform. You know what I'm saying? Dude, that's, that. that's anywhere, too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we're talking about Louisiana, right. but the reason why I talk about Acadiana and Lafayette is mm-hmm. because even within Louisiana, I witnessed it. I witnessed it out there in, in New Orleans. Man, I can, right. I can spend the next hour talking about artists and crews and labels and events and things that have been going on in New Orleans for like the last decade on the underground independent scene. Mm-hmm. Stuff that if if you worth anything in reference to being an artist in Acadiana and you do hip hop or R&B or what may have you and you haven't been a part of any of these events or and you don't know most of the people that I would name here, just come to my Facebook, I'll tell you all that. Yeah. Then you not really doing your thing as an artist. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's, that's just that's just the, the, the basics and circumstances of it all. Right. You know, so and I know I know the people who started those things. I know the people who hosted them. I know the people who ran them. I know the people who DJ that. Right. You know what I'm saying? I know the people who did the booking. Some of those people booked me. Right. You know, I'm right. one of those artists they booked back in 2010, right. Right. 2011 to perform a day event. So I know the process of how they're doing it. It's a matter of bringing it here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And doing, you know, I mean, 
they had the radio angle mostly through like Tulane radio for years, WTUL 91.5. Still exists, still same basic format, student wise, you know what I'm saying, student community, New Orleans radio. I had music playing on that radio station as far back as 2003, mm -hmm. myself. And that's, and that's what's saying at least five years of hearing other people from the New Orleans area having their music played on that radio station. Right. See, now we're trying to bring that up back here. That's right. You know what I'm saying? With what they doing over at KJCB. What I'm doing at KIEE. -E, you know what I'm saying? I'm, yeah, that's right. I'm going to shout out to everybody else, even if we all at the same time. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because that's how it's supposed to be. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it, it, I've seen it, man. There, 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 are, there are a bunch of cities around the country that you, that probably you, maybe you, you know what I'm saying? You got a little experience in the game, so you might not be as surprised. But there's some cities out in the country that people will be absolutely surprised that they have a music scene going on because people's work together out there. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know, I, I can name, I can name off the wall cities right about now that, that you wouldn't necessarily say this city and hip hop. Yeah, that yeah. city and hip hop, especially in the Midwest. And I ain't just talking about St. Louis. You right. know what I'm saying? I'm talking like Omaha, Nebraska. Right. <laughs> you right. know what I'm saying? I'm talking I'm talking about I'm talking about Cincinnati. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm talking about some 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 places where, you know, it's it's going down in Seattle. It's going down in Phoenix. <laughs> you right. know, it's, it's going down in Memphis like we should already know, but on the underground level it's going down out there. Mm -hmm. It's going down in Jackson, Mississippi. <laughs> you know. But, but, but yeah, man, you know what I mean? If you work together, you can right. actually be strong. Right. You know, like hey, look, not to not to say like that, but you know, I mean, I got kids, so mm -hmm. you ever watch the Power Rangers or whatever? Yeah. And, and, yeah. and how they transform, and when they start losing, yeah. what happens? What they do? They break. Ah, and then they come together. <laughs> right. They get real big, <laughs> and then guess what? It's over. Oh yeah, man. See, and, and you're right about that, man. It's it's. it's Everybody could be an individual, but everybody could be a team player too. It's like it's that Golden State Warrior mentality, man. Not everybody could be Steph. Everybody could be still the All Star. Everybody can still have them rings. You know? That's right. You know what That's what it's all about. That's really what it's all about too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, but being a team player is not for everybody. You know what I'm saying? That's why everybody don't always need them. Right? They make the team, right? Wow, right? <laughs> nice one, nice one, nice one. You know, I mean, you know, if y'all get in the deal, we will talk to you. Oh, you boy, you have it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all get with it, and then we'll definitely go ahead on and you know go ahead on and make things happen for y'all and allow you know obstacles to get out of y'all way and open up some doors for y'all. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Man. And, yeah, and man. give y'all an avenue. Which y'all may not have, which y'all may have, but you know, at the same time, how do you say that? All, all promotion and good promotion, all, all advertising and good advertising, you know what I'm saying? So, and it's always good to hear in, insights, information about an artist and an entertainer mm -hmm. in general, other than just talking about career, you know what I'm saying? Because we all have our different mind frames, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And it's, and sometimes the people do interviews, there's only so much they, you know, allocated to say. So, mm -hmm. you know, I really want people to express the way they feel. Right. You know what I'm saying? Give them some real talk, insight. You right. Know what I'm and hopefully information that can help them, you know what I'm saying, through our day progression that they can hear. That's, that's you know what, what it's about, and, man. And, you know, if they be really know through the movement, then they can hide ahead. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we take it on. Major artists, we taking on independent artists, mm -hmm. we taking on major celebrities, we taking on independent and local celebrities as well. You know, the media outlet that we do have to tune up is enough to cover Louisiana Plus. You know what I'm saying? So if y'all interested in this form of media, and y'all are interested in bringing y'all media outlet towards this direction, you know what I'm saying? Y'all can hire us and we'll make it happen. That's it. You know what I'm saying? That sounds good to me. We have live television broadcasts out here in Lafayette. Right. In right. I'm saying on the television screen, if y'all want to perform, we allow y'all to perform live on television. Um, you know, we have, we play music videos, you know what I'm saying? Or we'll play your songs, you know what I'm saying? If you're a DJ and you want to come spin, we we'll take, I take special guest DJs and your producers right. make beats. You bring your equipment, you know what I'm saying? We'll set up and we'll run some of the beats you made. We'll talk about, you know, the ideas and the concepts of mm -hmm. how you 
came about making the beats. If you're a boxer or a wrestler or whatever you are, you come on the show, we'll have a series of boxing. You know, we'll talk a little bit about the history of boxing, you know, or a little bit of the history of wrestling. You know what I'm saying? And we'll get to the details, you know what I'm saying? So all entertainers that's interested in this avenue, Come on down, man. I mean, that's what it's all about, man. It's, it's, it's basically just just doing your part, man. Using the tools that you have towards making stuff happen, like you know, like the track beat, the beat battle. Like as you said, producers, man, made me think about the track beat. Producer beat battle, artist showcase, and industry networking party. We done made one year. I don't know how. I don't know how often this episode is gonna get run or what may have you, because I know how syndication works and stuff like that. There, but September 2017 makes one year that the track beat has existed. You know what I'm saying? So, and and I I'm happy to say, proud to say that we've gotten producers and artists. This is an official regional event now. So we've had artists come from Houston, and producers come from Houston, and Little Rock, and Jackson, Atlanta, Pensacola, Memphis, Baton Rouge. You know, I can legitimately say that this is a regional event that has happened in the last year. We've had we've had these in Jackson, Mississippi, in Atlanta, and Little Rock, Austin, Texas, all in this history. Right. You know, so and when September comes, we're going to be down there at the office celebrating this one year. Everything that I've been saying before, let's get let's get to it from there. Because, you know, the more the, more the events prosper and the more opportunities the events can provide for people to do stuff. Right. You know what I'm saying? If, like I said before, if... If I'm booking, let's say, six, seven artists per month, and and I may only have like one or two repeats every now and then, I got a couple of I got a couple of designated openers. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Neff Records. Shout out to Loaded Team Port Squad. You know what I'm saying? For being designated open for the track meet. Right. But let's just say outside of them, I get another five artists per month, and they come from wherever, not just out here. Yeah. Well, not only is that 60 artists in a given year that I'm giving access to through the track meet, but now you would be probably opened up about a good 10 cities that other artists would probably get to. Right. You feel what I'm saying? That's, that's an avenue right there. Right. 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 Once again, man, you know what I'm saying? This is Real Talk TV. Real Talk. We have to go at Moose Harris. Right. Give me your social media. Once again, get out the at Moose underscore Harris on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, UrbanFlowSaurus.com is the website for the radio show. Facebook.com slash Urban.FlowSaurus. Facebook.com slash The Track Meet Beat Battle, all one word. And I'm Anthony B. Daniels for the Facebook Live whenever. You know what I'm saying? So, holla. Yeah, man. And that's what's up, man. This is Real Talk TV. Shout out to Dollar Pierre and everybody who's been watching this show. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all stay tuned for future episodes of Real Talk TV and future rep- episodes of what? Urban Flow Sars and the Grapevine. Hey, y'all go. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all holla at us. You know what I'm saying? Until next time. Yeah.